Uh, David in Houston. Hey, uh, that, that was quite the phone call. Uh, yeah. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to make this quick, guys. I, uh, long time watcher, but second time caller. I never realized it, but I guess about uh, two months ago, I noticed that there was an office, I guess, or a church, whatever you want to call it, of Scientology in Houston. And I, I didn't know that. And I actually went to get some some coffee and noticed it was there. And I know enough about Scientology that just stay away from it at all costs. So I decided to go in and just start talking to them as if I was merely curious and, you know, Tom Cruise is a – is a figurehead, and I bet they asked me no less than 15 times, are you a member of the media? Are you a member of the media? And I, it had to be every other question. And then eventually I said, can you demonstrate anything that can show me why someone would want to be? And believe it or not, I was almost immediately put on this thing, the e-meter. Yeah. Do you know mm -hmm. what that is? Yep. Yeah. I've and done bottom it. Line, yeah, bottom line is uh, they asked me what is the most uh, uh, difficult thing I've had to deal with in my life, and it was my relationship with my father. And we went over it and over it and over it and over it to ad nauseum until it gets to the point you really don't want to think about it anymore, and it's just more of a mental nuisance. And I have to admit, when I walked away, I was surprised that I felt better but the reality was they just brutalize you to death with it until you don't feel it anymore. You know, and I it's have the feeling that that's where people are finding this. Uh, this is, well, I don't think anymore. I think most people are, you know, running away from it rather than going to it. But I think that's probably where the attraction comes from. I just wanted your opinion. It's really cold reading. It's no different than yeah. so-called psychics pretending they know everything about you. They're really just asking leading questions uh, and letting you tell them uh, about your life and then pretending they knew it all along. Yeah. Well, Russ, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, I, I mean, uh, tell me if this matches your experience. When I got the e-meter e reading, and I was very upfront, I said, you know, I'm not going to buy into Scientology. I'm a host of an atheist show. Uh, but I'm really interested in your religion. Tell me about it. Um, and when when they put me on this, you know, you grab the handle, right? Yes. Um, and then there's a little uh, there's a little needle that swings wildly up and down. And very very tiny changes in pressure can actually uh, swing the needle way off to one side <laughs> or the other. So I mean, if you just you know tighten your grip barely, it goes up like halfway to yeah. the top. Well, um, you know, they, they actually said that the tightness of your grip will affect it. Even if you move right. your hands, it will affect it. So just about anything you do right. with your hands could affect it. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's an amateur cold reading machine is pretty much what it is. They can, they can think anything they want to about it. You can, I mean, you know, you don't have to squeeze that hard to make it swing. Um, <laughs> So ultimately, you're saying it's the, the machine that sucks the money out of your bank account? <laughs> Pretty you much. You have to pay for these I, readings? You know, they, they, they tried their very best to sell me every conceivable book that was in there, and I just very politely backed out after a little while and started nodding my head and said, well, take care. And while they were still talking, I literally just left and went back to work. <laughs> but I just found it amazing. I, I never knew what it was about, that as soon as they start asking a question, and you answer it. They want you to answer it in a different way, maybe 19 different times. Right. So in other yeah. words, at least psychologically, you are defeating every conceivable whim and notion that you have correlated, let's say psychosomatically, to this topic until you fully exhausted it on your own. <laughs> but it's right. it, it, complete, complete worthless, I, I, absolutely worthless. Anyway, I just thought I'd call and give you my experience. Yeah, well, thanks for that. Thank you. <laughs> you bet. Bye. Okay.